While driving in Siberia, this dash cam captured a mythical creature on a snowy road. Redditor M Unexplained shares it in the scary clip. Do you see it? It looks like an enormous biped figure. Let's see it again. Do you think this is a Yeti? Whatever it is, it's leaving experts baffled. YouTuber Eugene of Dark Magic returns to the house where the soul dwells, and he discovers that the soul still dwells there. While in the kitchen, he hears noise in the next room. He continues to explore and the soul doesn't leave him alone. As he speaks to the spirit, he finds it has something to say. Simultaneously, a steady cam moves into the next room. What is going on here? And what does this soul want? To me, it sounds like it wants to be left alone. When YouTuber Hype Mike and his team open a crate in the basement of this haunted house, they encounter something horrifying. First, they must find something to open it with. That's why it's here. They're giving us the tools to succeed. Oh, oh my it just opened. Yep. Good idea. A little bit more. That was the basement door slamming shut. They try to reopen it. Open it. It's not opening. What do you mean it's not Hello? opening? Did somebody close the door? It's not opening. Dude, I'm telling you, when I saw something, it escaped. Like, it's like leaving the basement. That's what I saw, bro. Whenever I said that, I shot Shadow, it was walking away from the basement. They return to the box and they find this. Let's see. Oh my God. What the hell? Look at this! Dude. Jesus. Holy sh Creepy stuff. Later, they break out of the basement, but they might live to regret it. Okay, find the oh, Hold up. What? what? Oh, Dude. My god. How? What, what the hell? Did move that? I didn't touch that. No. Did you know, did anyone notice that? Did that demon figure come down from the attic? Later, while reviewing some photos taken on her camera, one of the crew notices something truly creepy in the background. During my spare time, whatever, and look. What the f is that? What is it? What is it? Dude, look. Somebody f here. What is that? And I didn't see anything. We didn't see anything. Is this the same figure captured on the steady cam in the hallway? I think it might be, and although this is a production, if I were Hype Mike's team, I'd be out of there in a flash, because the call is coming from inside the house. The historic Jefferson Hotel is a known hotspot for paranormal activity. They have an entire YouTube channel to document the stuff. Here is yet another instance captured on camera. It sounds more like a murmur to me, but this next one is a definite whistle. And lastly, a totally creepy laugh is heard. I don't know what that was. The whistle is captured faintly again. Right there. Is this someone pulling a prank? I heard all of the sounds, including the whistles, but that doesn't mean they aren't human. But I would probably conclude it was a spirit too if I worked in a place as haunted as the historic Jefferson. This figure appears out of nowhere and then disappears just the same way. Shared on TikTok, watch this mysterious vanishing act. No, 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 no. Bye, yeah. 
nó nó thấy chứ thấy gì không nó đang đạp xe đạp nè đó kìa kìa It does appear that the figure is only suddenly visible when the light flashes on them. And after it trapezes across the roadside for a moment, it vanishes into nothing. Well, it could just be a poor quality camera. The way the figure pixelates and disperses is utterly eerie to me. I'm no tech expert. Can anyone clear this up for me in the comments? While exploring an old abandoned college, YouTuber exploring with Melor jumps out of his skin from this paranormal encounter. Let's watch. Oh, What's that one say? Shit's up. Thought it was like 1983. Oh, <sighs> 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 It seems to me like the ghost may not appreciate Melor looking through this album in particular. Is that <laughs> would you stick around to pry around some more? I certainly wouldn't. When one door opens, it probably means a ghost is in the building. Redditor Newski Got the Strap shares this video, which was captured at their work at 5 a.m. The Redditor says that the place is about 75 years old. People have passed away in it, and strange things have occurred to them inside. Feelings that they're being watched and unexplained pennies turning up everywhere. The bar was empty at the time. Watch the bottom right. There's a glass door you see opening. They also believe that this object you see flying out of there is an orb. Although I wouldn't put too much stock into orbs as they're more often than not dust or insects, the door opening and shelf shattering does seem mysterious to me. Can you think of any logical explanation? While inside the screaming house, YouTube team Moxley's Paranormal World doesn't hear the screams, but they do feel the fear. It starts with a sensation. See how you can see my shadow? I know your hair, I can feel you. This is one I've never been able to... Is something here? Oh, what was that? What was that? Something was on me, something was on me, it was tied on me. No. Then they hear something. I'm hoping the camera's picking this up. A cat ball is triggered in another room, and some of their other paranormal devices go off as well. Pardon? Catball's going off. Oh! And again? My KT is going off as well. Look, 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 look! Thank you for that. The K2 starts lighting up as it sits in a chair. K2? Are you sat in that chair? Is this your chair? As they're distracted by the K2, a shadow figure sprints past behind them. Did he want us out? It's, look at that, it's just a straight red. Mate, I just caught a shadow. Okay. I've seen a shadow behind me. Do you just see the outline fly behind? And they keep hearing a female voice. It's strange, very strange in there. I understand it was a female like that. Do you know what, right? Do you know what I can picture in here? It sounds like, oh, going off. All evidence points to a female presence lying low in the screaming house. I just want to know the story behind this place. Who just let themselves in? Shared by YouTuber Paranormal Road Trip, this mysterious footage of the National Museum of Funeral History in Houston, Texas, appears to show paranormal activity. Watch the doors to the left. Mm -hmm. Sits and all. Yeah, no, 
The doors at the far end appear to open on their own. No one steps out though. It happens again while a group of people are standing at the end of the hallway. And that door is the latch door. Somebody right? have to turn the knob for that door to open. Yeah. yeah. Or push it or from push the inside. Push it. So it's not just air pressure from opening the front. It, you actually got to push it. push it. So they recreate the incident on the other side of the door in order to see if the air pressure from the outer door causes it to open. Doors didn't no, even budge. not even. They didn't even budge. They're too heavy to do that. So what happened here? Is there still some potential for air pressure? I think there could be. What if there were windows open in the room at the time that may have provided the right circumstances for the door to pop open? Let me know what you think in the comments. Have you ever had a stalker? YouTuber Kev from Crypto NWO has, and his stalker just took it to the next level by sending him a thumb drive. There are some strange pics on it and some video files. Let's take a look. Security footage captures the stalker peering into the YouTuber's home. Kev is setting up a camera inside. A second piece of security footage captures the stalker approaching the house and ringing the doorbell. Dude is already gone. He uh, Look where he runs. I didn't check the way he ran, but I looked at the footage afterwards. So, knocked on my door. Knocking on my door right now. I, there's no... I, by the way, I haven't seen any videos or anything. Okay, he... Recorded my door, he ran off. He hears a knock at the door. My door is gonna open, there, boom, I open my door. Nobody's at my door and I'm like, what the f I, I'm tripping out right now, I'm actually thinking, is this, like, are these kids doing this? Or is this like, the entire stalker situation? And then he heads outside to check it out. I don't know why my camera didn't catch me walking out the front door. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm literally, I can't see. I'm looking down my street towards the left of my street. I'm looking to the right of my street now. Pulling out my phone. Kev is then seen looking for the perp down the street. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm tripping out right now. I'm looking down my street. I saw somebody walking, but they had their dog with them. And it was like a teenager, so I'm thinking maybe it's that person. But at the same time, I'm tripping that right now because this person cut. After Kev re-enters his home, a car is seen in the distance driving in the other direction. My cameras are glitching like crazy. Open the door. I close it. Cars driving this way. What is the stalker? A second video captures what appears to be the same guy doing this again. Another one here. But dude, coming up to my camera, there was a flashlight on his phone. I hope he's not recording a video. What, run sprints this time. This time he didn't even hold back. Ran same place, same direction. Didn't even hold back. Kev heads outside again to look around. Two, one, now. I have a baseball bat in my hand. I'm tripping out. I'm actually tripping out. I'm trying to act tough here, but I'm actually shaking. I'm really, really scared. It's actually relatively cold this time of the year. Of course, he finds no one. What do you think this stalker is trying to achieve by this? Knocking on his door again and again. I think he is trying to build up Kevin's fear, a fear of the unknown, and it seems like he's succeeding. Thank you so much for getting me to 30,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 40,000 subscribers next. Thank you.